Um, hi, welcome everyone. Thanks for tuning in and watching. Um, Michael Bagram um, and myself, Dermot Gracebrook, are just going to uh, revise a presentation Michael did at the recent Status Staffing HR and Ops and Z Forum for the financial services sector, which we held on the 11th of June. And um, what we spoke about at that event was the latest on the TES uh, regulations, an update on that and what's happening there, and also on the current CCMA best practice and tips on how to approach that and what to be aware of. Um, and we're very lucky to have Michael here to tell us all about this. And without further ado, I'll ask Michael to start. And every now and then, I may interrupt him with some questions. Um, and we hope you enjoy it. Michael. Thank you. Yes, we had a great seminar uh, with status personnel and Dermot. And we discussed the temporary employment services. We discussed the issues that are going to arise with regard to the changes in the Labor Relations Act, the Basic Conditions of Employment Act. We're expecting our parliament, the South African parliament, to change our labor law uh, within months. We suspect it will happen in the first quarter of 2014. If you had to sum up in three steps um, the three things, given all the circumstances there around the CCMA, that employers should be aware of and should make sure they're prepared for with CCMA, what would you say those three key steps are? Well, obviously, we need to get into place the paperwork. They need to have proper letters of appointment, proper contracts of employment. They need to have terms and conditions of employment that are in place, disciplinary codes. They need to get all the paperwork and the understanding of the labor law in place. Once they've got that understanding in place, you then need properly trained management to implement these systems. Because at the moment, what is happening is the only businesses that are suffering are those that don't implement the systems that are there. Tried and tested systems. There is that golden thread of fairness. We need to make sure that we can reflect that everything we've done is fair. The only way you're going to reflect it is once the system's in place. And that's important. What you also need to do is you need to have an educated workforce. People need to be trained. They need to understand what's expected of them. They need to understand the terms and conditions of the employment themselves. They need a proper induction process. And then finally, what businesses need to do, and it's absolutely vital, is that they need to invest in their own businesses. And that means investment in staff as well. Sure. And then uh, moving back to um, the TES regulation, and given that it's not all finalized yet, but with the understanding we have, to prepare for that um, and get ready for that, what do you think the three things are that business should do? Uh, well, the three things are education, education, and education. Uh, we, can't, we can't emphasize that enough. The business community must go to the experts, the employment agencies, and they must go to them, get the training, understand what's around the corner, and understand how they can adapt their businesses to fit in with those new regulations. So it does boil down to education. Obviously, it also boils down to an open mind. Uh, the business community need to understand that it won't be business as usual. There is a difference in the way we're going to handle the businesses, and we need to ensure that we embrace that difference with full vigor. Well, thank you very much, Michael, for your time. Um, we will um, make Michael's uh, contact details and, and his website page available on this, and I'm sure Michael will be happy to speak to you if you have any queries around labor law or some of the other issues we spoke about today.